Hey guys, so we're back with another candle review, and this time around for the 14.5 ounce 3 wick Calypso Clementine candle from Bath & Body Works. This is the upcoming single fragrance launch for the newest spring floor set that's coming soon. Uh, and so it's getting the candle formats as well as the body care formats as well. Uh, so the notes on this read, Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar, and Coastal Woods. And ugh, um, I have to say this is probably my least favorite single fragrance launch in quite a long time. So I usually rag on how the single fragrance launches all kind of smell the same and they're super redundant. It's just a usual another fruity floral from Bath & Body Works that smells teeny bopper or smells mature. You know, the usual stuff that I say. Uh, but this one, oh, I don't, I just, I really can't get on board with it. It just smells like a dirty clementine and I'm just really not here for it. And it's just, I just can't imagine wanting to smell like this or wear this on your body. And it's just one of the most flattest and boring like single fragrance launch fragrance that we've got from them. But of course everyone has different tastes. So just because I don't like it doesn't mean you won't like it or that there isn't a market out there for it. So, you know, like I thought Butterfly was super rich redundant and that was their, one of their most popular single fragrance launches so obviously everything's super subjective but in any case yes so what does it smell like uh this is very similar in the realm of like you're in the stars or wild sands type of fragrance where there's like this uh fruity citrus fragrance that's then made um uh, more like dirty or less sweet uh by like a woodsy metallic peppery quality to it and so i think in the stars i think has like Tangelo and starfruit or something like that mixed with like a peppery woodsy uh, base to it. Uh, so kind of a similar comparison there. I think while sands also have this like sort of sandy woodsy fragrance with like a fruitiness. And this one's probably the least sweet and most dirtiest and less the least perfumey and least body care sweetness of all of those that I mentioned, but it's in that type of fragrance family, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so yeah, what does it smell like? You get a very unsweetened, like clementine fragrance to it. Think of like a clementine that's just not very sweet and like you've juiced it, or like even the skin of the clementine as well. Uh, but once again, just a very unsweetened uh, version of it that's like maybe not fully ripe that level of clementine is in here. Uh, and then it's mixed with like this peppery woodsiness. Uh, and it's a little metallic. It smells kind of like sandy or gritty. Uh, overall, it has, it gives it a little bit more of like this earthy, I want to say warmth to it is how it comes off. And it's very much like a unisex type of fragrance in the sense that it's not overly perfumey or overly floral. Uh, like just sort of the woodsy, uh, sort of gritty quality of it just makes it very uh, unisex. So just keep that in mind. It's probably one of the least feminine uh, single fragrance launches from Bath & Body Works I've smelled in a very long time. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of what you get from it. Uh, yeah, just think of a unsweetened clementine with uh, notes of this sort of like metallic, metallic, dirty, gritty, peppery, woodsy quality to it, similar to like the undertones of the woodsiness you get in both Wild Sands and In the Stars. And that's what you get here. Um, yeah, totally take it or leave it. Like normally I would love a Neroli and Clementine fragrance. Oh my God, like anything like In the Sun, anything that has like an orange blossom, or orange flower, neroli fragrance in it, mixed with like a bright, juicy citrus, you know, like think of, once again, In the Sun, their sun-kissed fragrance. Uh, we also have stuff like Suntan or even the Sea Salt and Neroli. It's nothing at all like that. Uh, you don't really get that beautiful floral sweetness or even the powderiness that you normally attribute to orange blossom or neroli, neroli fragrances. This just takes the sort of like uh, a lot of times like neroli is like the oil of orange blossom and for whatever reason when the oil is being extracted it smells more metallic and this just captures the metallic quality of it but none of the beautiful like orange blossom floral components that I associate with neroli or orange blossom so it's just really only giving like the metallic quality to it and that metallicness mixed with the woodsy pepperiness of the coastal woods with the unsweetened clementine overall is just I almost want to say sharp and bitter uh, but yeah the clementine gives it just a uh, just the, the, the very little amount of sweetness, but once again, it's not super, super perfumey or floral or anything like that. So yeah, total, total one and done. Uh, just, yeah, not a fan of this. We're on a third burn here. Very high, vicious flames on it. it has a thick rope like wicks on it. Make sure you're always like trimming them before each burn uh, and just watch your burn time no more than like three hours because it does start like sitting and getting crazy. Uh, as for the throw, oh my gosh, the first burn on this was like truly unscented. I was like, I rarely come across a Bath and Body Works candle that's like completely unscented, but I had it going to my office. I just simply could not smell it whatsoever. Uh, and I would go super nose blind to it, but I'm happy to report it has picked up the more I burned it. Um, once it really got 
got going in the second and the third burn. Uh, I can smell it uh, adequately now. I would put it up to maybe like a four. Overall, it's a very light fragrance. It's very much like a background fragrance, uh, but I can still smell it, no problem. So I would say like four to maybe a five in a uh, like a smaller bedroom type area. So not quite as unscented as it was on the first burn. Uh, so I was originally thinking about just like exchanging this one because it was so truly unscented, but now that I can smell it and it's performing properly, I just feel bad for exchanging it. So it's another single fragrance launch candle that I'll just like shove in my SFL collection and call it a day. So that's pretty much it for the performance on this. Overall, if you want an unsweetened, woodsy, uh, peppery, clementine fragrance, uh, then check this out. Otherwise, yeah, totally like my least favorite uh, single fragrance launch from them in a long time. Uh, it just sucks because I was really looking forward to something that had like neroli and clementine in it. That's like totally up my alley in terms like of an orange blossom, like in the sun type of experience. Uh, but this was totally not it. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.